what happens. Is it gonna work? All right, we're back. We are back on YouTube. We're back. If anyone's still in the old YouTube chat, tell them to exit and then come back, come to the new YouTube stream. It, it It's a different live stream now because YouTube's fucking stupid like that. Thank you, Bex. Um, but yeah, let me, uh, let me fix my webcam here and get everything all working again. That was, that was a fun little, uh, fun little side quest. My power going out, power surge, turning off my computer for a second. And then Windows updating. <laughs> Windows was like, hmm, this is a great time to update. <laughs> working on updates, cleaning up. Fuck you. All right, let me fix my camera here. Hold on. Properties. Deactivate. Activate. Oh, hold on, I have to do this. Uh, turn off all this stuff. Apply. Okay. Deactivate. Activate. Now do this. I have to do this to my webcam every time, by the way. Auto exposure on, and then off again, and then turn it down there. And then it's perfect. <laughs> You have to do like a fucking webcam bullshit of like refreshing and adjusting the settings until it's actually correct. Classic webcam bullshit. Alright, anyways. We're back now. Everything's all good. Yeah, YouTube chat test. I see you, Bex, right there. Looking good. Okay. We're back. Oh my god. That was, that was some shit right there. But we are back. No fucking way, dude. No way. Oh, now it's gonna do this. Now we're doing this? Oh my fuck. Crazy. Are we back? Yeah, okay, it says connected. Attempting to reconnect. What do we got? Disconnected. Oh my. Give it a moment. This is, this is fucked. This is so fucked up. Try again in five seconds. There we go. Okay, we're back again. So my internet died there, but I'm back again. <laughs> you know? So first, my um, my computer. I, don't, I can't even see my chat anymore. Hopefully, I still. It looks like I'm still here. Oh my god. So first my- there was a power surge and my computer turned off. Then my internet disconnected and reconnected just now, because I'm using a shitty Wi-Fi adapter. And now we're good. Now we're good. I- I think my chat is dead though, so let me uh, mess with that. This is just, this is just like actual, like the worst case scenario. I'm back. This, the, the, you can't stop me from streaming. You can't stop me. All right, I see you guys in the chat now. Let me refresh it on screen here. Maybe if I log out and log back in, I'll do this. All right, you guys are back now. Wow, man, that was something, everybody. All right, you guys are back. I see all the chats now. Woo! All right, so if you're watching the VOD after the fact, thank you. I'm probably going to delete the first one. And please type a letter six in the comments if you made it this far. Holy shit. Uh, we were streaming for like 20 minutes and warming up and everything earlier. But, uh, you know, my, you know I, my apartment complex decided to fuck me. 
and delete the file, you know, turn my computer off and back on and then Windows updated. And then my internet disconnected after I reconnected my stream. It was just a whole thing, but now it should be good. We should be fine now. Woo, damn. But yeah, so if you're watching after the fucking uh, fact right now, type a number six in the in the comments if you're watching the VOD. Yeah, dude. So anyways, let's get back to the game. Whew. Let's do, a, let's do a run. Jeez. That was some shit, everybody. That was like, holy fuck. Yeah, the only thing, if you're watching the VOD after the fact, the only thing you missed was us banning a guy for criticizing me. <laughs> and uh, then be, then not apologizing, and then just being like, I was just making an observation, get banned. <laughs> just basically banning someone for trolling. And so now everyone's talking about him. Classic ch ch chat activities. Somebody gets banned and then they become the MVP of the stream. Their memory never gets lost. Which really, I gotta be honest, you guys are really encouraging the trolling like that. Well, what, what can you do? Uh, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna reset, but I'm gonna go pee real quick and then we'll get into another run. We'll get the proper first run of the day here. Good Lord. Sai Sona CR, thank you so much for the prime. I'll be uh, right back. Two seconds. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start the intro cutscene and see if I can finish peeing before it's over. BRB. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Looks like I've got some things to do. Oh shit. Oh god. Go fast. Go fast. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. I know the BRB's still on screen. I made it in time. I'm good. Damn. That was that was like last second shit right there. Whew. We made it. I'll turn off the BRB one sec. <laughs> Damn, that was that was close. We made it. Yeah, that was uh, that was like a. See, I'm telling you guys, man. Like when you speed run, you you literally have even your pee breaks timed perfectly. It's just the uh, you know your whole life just turns into a speed run like that. Anyways, guys, uh, you know, we're we're back. You know, the, the hopefully my power doesn't go out again or my internet dies. It's been a pretty eventful last. 10 minutes here. Well, let's see if we can lock in, get a good run here. Who knows? Also, I shared this at the beginning of stream, but um, I'll share it again. Uh, as some of you guys know from yesterday, I uh, I put 13... I'm not going to say how much money. I, well, I'll just tell you how much, whatever. I put $13,000 uh, into a Roth IRA recently. And um, I finally invested that money today, or at least I, you know, you know started actually trading. Because the way it works is like, it's just like you just trade it's like it's like stocks and shit you know so i finally put my money into a i've decided to buy a, an s p 500 index fund and a semiconductor index fund in the hopes that uh technology will continue to uh boom and shit like that so we'll see how that goes we'll see if that's a good long-term investment or not but i'm hopeful for it i'm hopeful that i'll at least like hit like around a 10 percent return for those for that portfolio over time. And, um, basically the only thing that would stop that from happening in my mind is if, um, is if there's like some new form of technology that completely fucks over NVIDIA and Microsoft and all those other like big traded companies and stuff. But as long as AI and all this sort of, uh, all that sort of stuff is still a thing, then my, my, uh, I, Roth IRA will, uh, do good. 
As long as people still use phones and, you know, pretty much any piece of technology that uses a semiconductor, which is like everything. So as long as technology continues to expand and grow in our world and society, in our ever-connected society, then I will be, uh... I will be making money, which is kind of cool. I mean, I mean, like, hell yeah. You boy out here investing. Now, who knows? But, you know, nobody knows the future. I could get totally fucked Just in like 10 years. Today about Dude, good luck. Uh, my oh, yeah, Michael, you're going to uh, DC. Uh, so, um, thank, uh, thanks for thanks for meeting us up. Once again, we're going to be at the at the thing um, tomorrow. So you, you got my DM and stuff. Feel free to DM me. I'll be in touch. And yeah, you know, good luck. You know, don't don't feel like you have to do anything now, Michael. You know, like I'm not telling you you have to come meet us up or anything. Just do do whatever your heart feels. You know, no pressure. Yeah, Bex's flight is it? No, M Michael literally hit me up last night. Like, hey, you're going to DC, right? Yeah, I'll just come drive all the way up there from fucking wherever the hell, but like North Carolina. Like, oh my god. Hey. So yeah, you know, no pressure, no pressure. Yeah, I'm going to the Cherry Blossom Festival. It's called Sakura Matsuri, which I definitely, I invite along with Michael and all of the rest of you guys, I invite to feel free to come meet me up there if you guys are on the East Coast, around Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Maryland area. Feel free to come uh, meet up myself, Strawberry, I guess Michael. I'm also going to be hanging out with Drama and some of his friends. Um, and yeah, we're going to be having a good old time drinking beers and whatnot. Pardon me, South Carolina, not North Carolina, South Carolina. And I'm also going to have a revolving sushi with um, with uh, Rico afterwards as well in Fairfax, so that's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, if any of you guys want to like meet up or hang or, you know, whatever, this uh, tomorrow, feel free to. We're going to be leaving uh, tonight. Sarah and I are going to be leaving to head up there tonight because we want to buy weed and stay in a hotel so we don't have to do a giant fucking drive tomorrow. Yeah, we'll take pics. Yeah, I'll definitely post pics in the Discord with me and Dralna and Michael and everybody. It'll be a vibe. But yeah, that's kind of like what this whole grind uh, this last week has been leading up to. Has been uh, heading out to that. And really, this is like my last day of like this like really... Hardcore grind for now. I mean, I'm gonna be taking a bit of a break tomorrow, posting a YouTube video and whatnot. Slut is your middle name. That had to have been a Goyle donation, right? Yep. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred bits, Goyle. Legend. Yeah, definitely, definitely saw that one coming. <laughs> Legend, Goyle. I'm handsome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Tomorrow afternoon slash night, yep. That's when I'm gonna be doing all the Sakura Matsuri. Actually, we're probably gonna be at Sakura Matsuri like, yeah, like in the afternoon, we'll probably get there. And then in the evening, we'll head over to Fairfax for conveyor belt sushi. So if any of you guys are interested in meeting me up, please uh, feel free to send me a DM on Discord. You can join my Discord by typing an exclamation point Discord in the chat. Uh, is that gonna work? Oh yeah, just barely. I got so lucky with that. Oh. Source proxy, thank you for the tier one. You delicious piece of sex. Ooh, thank you. This is what happens when you're subbed for more than a year. You just turn into a fucking sex animal. What's up, Gwendolyn? Thank you for the gift, appreciate that. Legend. It's been nice having you around lately, Gwendolyn. You're, you're a good vibe in this chat. Not to put you on the spot or anything. I don't mean to make you blush or nothing. Oh! got rid of discord this morning boss man jack is about to be canceled discord what the fuck are you talking about oh 
Good thing you're not trolling me, I'll tell you that much. And if you are, I'll ban you. <laughs> end up like Jay. You guys saw what happened to Jay. Oh, shit. You got that school spot. 30 out of 400 got in, and I was one of them. Um, this is like an update to something you told me yesterday, right? Can, I'm sorry, can you refresh me? You were trying to get into a school? I thought it was like a job interview or something. Is that what it was? Am I on the right track here? Congrats, by the way. Super proud of you. You have to, you have to refresh me. My, I have the stoner short-term memory here. But congrats, dude. Sounds like good news. I do like good news in my chat. I like to see you guys thriving. Never heard of uh, Boss Man Jack? No. I mean, actually, I think I have heard, but I've, I've never uh, actually checked out their content or anything. He's a cracky that went viral. A bunch of snowflakes reporting for self. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not big into, like, what is that called? Like, lol cows or whatever. That's not really, like, my cup of tea to, like, follow people like that. To, to follow people's demise and watch from afar as people, like, harass them and stuff. Not, re not really my thing. Magic missile. You can't say you can say hairy anus in this chat uh, as someone as the proud owner of a hairy anus. I want to have every ha hairy anus feel welcomed here. <laughs> What's up, just Joe? Welcome. Welcome. No matter how much hair you have on your anus, you know, you are valid. I want you guys to remember that. This is a safe space for hairy buttholes. Thank you for the good luck, Getro. It's funny that I'm so excited about investing with this uh, Roth IRA because it's like getting excited about investing. It's like getting excited to just sit there and like do nothing, <laughs> you know, for a while. Like the whole point of investing is that you put it somewhere and you like just leave it for like a long time and it builds money like, over like years and stuff. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I'm so excited to do nothing. <laughs> Vanguard, you're a Vanguard user. Hell yeah. Dude, I've been watching so many fucking finance YouTube videos lately and trying to weed through the nonsense as well. Investing is exciting. It's definitely like the prospect of like, dude, this I could like, yeah, it's like, it's, it's probably it's similar to gambling, I think, you know, where it's like, I could get rich here. I could get lucky and get rich, you know, but it's like, you know, a bit of a more like um, long term version of that, you know. With time comes uh, safety, in, in a sense. Where gambling is like an instant gratification. Investing is like a prolonged gratification. Investing like, is like edging for gambling. Does that make sense? Yeah, if gambling is gooning, then investing is edging. You don't want to goon on your investments. You want to edge them. It's an edging marathon. Oops. Meant to jump there.
<laughs> yeah, it's investing is like using a task to gamble. That's so true. Like index funds and all this shit I'm going to. It's like all the hard work has been done for me and now I just let the computer play, you know, type of thing. I'm slowly turning into money, but yeah, true. I'm working on the beer gut already. Dude, I'm definitely going to be shaped like money bags in a, in a decade. Your 401k is up 5%. Nice. Congrats on that. The 500 you're scalping is worth... Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of thrilling to, to like move your money around in hopefully responsible ways. I'll definitely say that. I opened a new CD the other day as well. So that's where all like my safe... Like, that's like my safe money and then... I got an emergency fund now, and now I have a Roth IRA. So I feel I feel really just like proud of myself, like financially for that. No, no. It's nice. It's nice not to have your money just sitting in a fucking savings account doing nothing. But you know, it really means nothing until I, you know, unless I could stick to a plan of continuing to save. My goal is to save a thousand bucks every month. Some months I may not be able to hit that, but you know what? If I even, uh, cause like my goal really this is like my actual goal is, is to, um, the annual uh, cap for uh, putting money into a Roth IRA is 7,000. You can put $7,000 per year into a Roth IRA, which is a basically tax free in or pre post tax investing, right? So if I can save at least $7,000 a year, then then I'm good. Then my bank account will not be going down, but I'll still be putting the, t the max into a Roth IRA every year, which is pretty much as good as you could hope for, you know, when it comes to like planning for retirement without like working for a company that offers like a 401k or pension or anything, which I obviously don't. So I think I think that's like a sound like kind of like long term goal is like make at least seven thousand dollars a year in, in save pardon me save seven thousand dollars a year at least to contribute the maximum to a Roth IRA every year for the rest of my life and with a, with trying to save a thousand dollars a month maybe periodically missing a month here or there I think it's totally doable. Do I think society is going to last past 2040? I mean, it's an interesting question. I mean, you can't know the answer, obviously, but um, I think it's safe to say that society will continue. To, I think it's probable that society will not collapse before 2040. Or just like, or just in our lifetime, you know, like, because there's like, there's genuine concern about global warming and stuff like that. Like, I get it, you know, but I think in, in our lifetime, we're not going to be like maybe in our children's lifetimes like in the next hundred 200 years Like it will turn into crisis mode when it comes to like the state of humanity type of thing because of global warming But you know the what one thing I I think is that um, Big groups of people big populations Civilization so to speak it only responds to crisis so even though global uh, warming and you know whatever the state of you know, that humanity may be gone forever, you know, depending on where the world goes in the next century or two or three. Like, that threat, until it's like a direct threat, like it's something's happening that's like, you know, like for example, as a polar ice cap melts and a city goes underwater. Until something like that happens and it like affects like the fucking money, you know, it affects like the GDP of like a fucking the USA or something, you know. It's only going to be at a time of crisis when humans uh, make a make a change to to actually like be on the right side of global warming. Sadly, because like you know, if we if we were just proactive as a species, then we wouldn't have to be in a crisis situation in the first place. But and I think a lot of people would argue that we're already in a crisis situation. But my counter argument to that is that it's not direct enough of a crisis to affect the vast majority of people, of voters, so to speak. But once it, the more direct a crisis becomes, like for example, COVID is like a really good example, like a real direct crisis that like enacted very immediate change upon uh, our society. Because it's like, hey, like if you don't wear a mask, you know, you and people you know already are getting sick, you know?
it's kind of like that i think when it comes to like the decline of civilization through uh through pollution for example and that's just one way that that like humanity can uh can fall you know So yeah, I don't think it's in our lifetime, and I could be wrong about this, but I think in our lifetime, I don't think it's going to get to that point where it's like a direct crisis, like level of maybe it will, maybe it will. I I wouldn't be surprised if it wouldn't if it if it did get to that level, but I don't know. Who knows? Can't really know the answer to that. But that's not to say that we shouldn't like you know take steps right to save the planet now before it like is killing all of our families and shit. Oh. <laughs> warming is that? I looked over at the chat, I see some pretty funny messages. You guys are funny. You guys have some pretty wild takes on this. People think we're killing the earth. No, we're gonna die before the earth does. I mean, that's kind of what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, we will die before the earth does, but you know, it's kind of a question of like, you know, it, it is a bit of a, a like, well, how many years is it gonna take before that, before that uh, switches, you know? Is it gonna be a hundred years? Is it gonna be a thousand years, you know? It really just depends on the, the rate at which we pollute the earth, you know? Which is pretty staggeringly high for the last like couple centuries, I think is is fair to say. So I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. But with all that said, I think we'll be fine. For us in our immediate lives, I think we'll be fine. I can't say the same for our kids or our children's children, but you know. and who knows? Maybe we'll all fucking die too. It's all good. I'm not. I'm not worried about it. It's fine. It's all good. It's nothing to lose sleep over. I think. Just an interesting topic of discussion. Until it's not. Until your your city goes underwater. Dude, J.E. on some fucking crazy, like, magnetic shit, like, global warming. So, J.E., dude, J.E., I'm not gonna lie, you're giving the J names a bad name again. First there was J. I couldn't stop criticizing. And now there's J.E. with, like, the fucking conspiracy takes. Like, this is a- f you guys are funny. These J's are on another level. Yeah, the J accounts, dude. That guy had a gold, didn't he? Oh my god, this is really bad gem. Unlucky. Can I still make the cycle at least? No, I can't even. I literally can't even make the cycle. It was all for nothing. Wow. That sucks. That pretty much killed my pace right there. Okay, so, alright, someone banned JE. Man, you gotta chill, bro. You can believe whatever you want, man. I'm just gonna make fun of you for it. I think that'd be so fucking sensitive. A little cry, baby. What are you gonna cry? This is what I'm saying. You guys give him, you guys give him the J's a bad name. <laughs> <laughs> JS is the only one left. JS has been chill. JS has been fine so far. I 
oh my god, you're gonna make fun of me for peddling conspiracy theories in your chat? So you're saying I can't believe anything? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting pushed back for saying some wild shit in someone's chat. I can't believe it. <laughs> you guys are funny. That's what I'm saying, you guys are just fucking funny. Truth is out there. Never forget. Never forget JE's efforts. When the magnetic field of Earth rips your damn dick off, you're gonna be wishing you didn't ban me. That's what JE is saying. up Eric you, uh, question mark what are you confused oh my god come on can I make this it's gonna be close no run dead it wasn't already after that fucking blowhard oh I tried I tried to pause buffer it Plus 50. Yeah, I, I still had a chance. Well, look at my gem count. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I should be pretty under gemmed, right? I actually had a chance, dude. If I'd have just not fucked up Wild Flight, I would have had a chance. I've been fucking up Wild Flight like crazy lately, by the way. You'd think I wouldn't be fucking up flight levels after 10 years, but here we are. Yeah, that wild flight was terrible. That, that wild flight genuinely just killed my PB. What's up, Kiwi? Oh, uh, no need to cry. No need to be a little pussy bitch. You can actually uh, hype up because, I mean, this still could be a good run. I mean, I'm not trying to be all sad here. I know you guys like to cry whenever my runs die, but I could use the positivity. Am I going to LTA or doing LTA on site? I guess so. Do I have to, like, sign up for something? I, You know, I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm not, like, super, like... I, I don't super care a lot. I hope I hope that's not offensive. Like if it's a whole, th I mean, if I can just stream normally and like just connect to an RTMP server type of type beat, and it's like not that much effort on my part, then then that'd be cool. If I have to like take the day off of streaming to do the LTA thing, I kind of don't really want to do that. And I'm sorry if that sounds selfish. Yeah, if I can just stream and then they'll just restream my my perspective, then that's that's fine. Yeah, let me know, uh, Laura. If there's like a sign up I have to do or something, feel free. Like, go ahead and DM that to me or something. Oops. Oh, yeah, it'll be just okay. There's no okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, let the organizers know or whatever. Yeah, just for Sunday. Oh, I do have to join the run GG. Is that what it is? Like, it's like, what is it? Like a race? That's how they're tracking it? Is it like a really long, like, race type thing? Because it's obviously not just one run, right? Okay, I have to have the, the run GG on live split, is what you're saying. Do I have to like add? Because I don't, I don't know if I even have that on my live split. <laughs> Maybe I do. So I have to like. So do I have to log into the run GG through live split? Is that like what you're saying? Oops. Yeah, I'm missing gems, but whatever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll have to remember to do that on Sunday or whatever. Who's the fucking tech person that I have to hit up for this? 
Is someone gonna like reach out to me or something or? I mean, whatever. I'll, I'll try to join the run G. I mean, I, I'll try to join whatever is there on Sunday. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. That's my... Oh, man. I fucked up. It's, it's, what happens is when you hit the two guys too early. The, the big two fat guys too early. And he just keeps running. This run sucks. Classic me not able to get a run to Dreamweavers at oh, 35 pace. Typical, typical me. Typical me getting like fucking like 35, 4x paces out of Magic Crafters and then not closing them out. Where is he? Good to see. What the fuck are you talking about, Muchacha? Can someone ban them? Bex here? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> this dude is on one. Oh my god, come on. Yeah, average YouTube chat right there. <laughs> oh my god, funny. <laughs> you, you, dude, you know they're trying to type the N word right now and like they're failing. <laughs> Fine, I'll ban them myself. Give me a sec. Hold on. I have to do it after this level. I guess my mods are asleep right now. Oh, you did it. Thank you, Bex. Appreciate it. God, they're making you work overtime today. You can't, can't let Bex enjoy a pizza. <laughs> yeah, average YouTube chatter. <laughs> you guys are so dumb. Oh. Yeah, dude, that's the funny thing about YouTube chat is like some days it's like, oh, wow, YouTube chat's actually pretty chill sometimes, you know? And then you'll get someone like that. It's like, what the fuck? The, the, the unhinged, like the risk of dealing with someone that's just completely unhinged is way higher on YouTube. But it's fun. I mean, it, genuinely, it's funny. Not that I encourage it at all. because it's, it's, it's more annoying than funny, but it is also a little funny, I'll admit. But please, please don't type unhinged stuff in my chat. Goodness gracious. People are just, people are just stupid. Yeah, like how Laura said, people are just fucking just dumb. Yeah, only hinge talk here. Only gay chatters. We got, we got like five, one, oh, five. Yeah, that's the exact minimum amount I can get, a, get away with here.
Remember back in 2011 when YouTube comment section was a collection? Yeah, I know. I mean, it's it's just part of the platform, dude. I mean, just it's like the, what? It's the biggest video sharing platform on the internet, you know? Like at least like Twitch, like if it's the biggest live streaming platform, at least there's like some like semblance of like a chat culture on Twitch, you know, like ways to act and ways not to act and like, you know, what's funny and what's not. But on YouTube, it's just, it's just like Wild West of just like the most insane like people that have no idea what the fuck is going on even. So it's just a different uh, user base, you know, bigger cesspool, if you will. Come on. Oh, my penis, dude. My balls, man. Oh, missed that blue as well. I mean, good thing I got the extra blue in uh, Beast Makers to make up for that. <clears throat> oh, that's another good point is that, like, um, in my Twitch chat, there is more filtering because you have to be, like, verify. You have to, like, verify your email and phone number or at least be following for a month. On YouTube, you could just, like, make a new account and just talk, I think. Which I think I should, if, if there's an option for me to change that, I, I should. So yeah, more spammy vibes are definitely in YouTube for sure for that reason. That makes sense, actually. I like an eyelash in my eye. A hundred gems short? No. I am like a little under gemmed, but I'm not a hundred gem short. At least I don't think so. Maybe I am and I don't even realize it. Yeah, no, I'm good. Damn, that weird sound effect. You guys hear that? I don't know why that sound effect plays. I think it's like one of those like long distance. There's a different sound effect when something's like far away from you. Like if, for example, if a spring chest um, explodes far away from you, um, or pardon me, a firework chest explodes far away from you, it makes like a more like shimmering noise. I think that that's like a similar thing that happens with a uh, box breaks, except it's just a sound glitch, I think. Just my theory, just a game theory. Oh. Good thing Jay isn't here to give me shit for that. I, I immediately thought of him. <laughs> you always bonk there, dude. You always bonk there, dude. Oh my god, I hope my messages are helping. <laughs> Jay living in my head rent free. It's just an observation. <laughs> hey, you suck. Hey, do you, you realize you suck at that part? Oh, what do you mean I'm criticizing you? It's just an observation. <laughs> Have you found that since dual streaming, has anything substantially changed? Small, dedicated presence on YouTube before stream? Hold on. 89. That's 90. Hold on, I need more. I'm like, wait, I'm more under gem than I thought. Okay, now we're good. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, no, for me, what's been nice about multi-streaming, even if I have some unhinged like bitches in my YouTube chat, I enjoy multi-streaming to Twitch and YouTube because it's like I can read both chats at once. Um, I don't feel like I have to post as many YouTube videos. Like I don't have to like export runs to YouTube all the time just so I'm not like, you know, like I can just stream like a lot on YouTube and I don't have to worry about posting as much. and. Still make a similarly respectable amount of money on the website. Not that it's all about money or anything, but just like to keep my, my channel is a lot, like stays alive because I'm able to live stream in place of posting videos. So it's just not, it just works nicely for me. Like you said, I already had like a bit of an audience on YouTube and it is distinct from Twitch. And you know, some people that were, a lot of people I know that were on YouTube, just like never really went to Twitch. So it's nice for them. It just worked out really nicely for me to multi-stream to YouTube. I have a pretty similar viewership on both platforms now. And uh, yeah. In my mind, it's like, I just want to make things as easy as possible for my audience to watch me and to enjoy my content. And 
I think there's a positive feedback loop happening with uh, multi-streaming in that sense. It doesn't feel like I'm just streaming on YouTube for no reason. Oops. Is that the new rap proxy? People keep asking like if this version of rap proxy is new. Um, it was found like where you hit the rat from behind. We call it back rat. And it was found by Days Bagabones like just under a year ago, I want to say. So if you consider that new, then yes. GG, 3802, almost the 30. Dude, despite having kind of a bad end game, that was actually a really. If I'd have just uh, focused on gems a bit better there and Jock, that would have been 37. First try rat, I mean, that's the power of first try rat. So uh, thanks for the GG, Norkson. But yeah, you know, I threw this run in uh, in Wild Flight and just kind of, I just kind of whatever, just degaffed it to the end. Which is fine. It's all good. Definitely a better time than average, I'll say that. But yeah, we definitely want to be getting better times out of Dreamweavers, no doubt about it. 36, 27. I mean, anything that's like not sub 36, pretty bad Dreamweavers, you know. So. We're going to get our 35 Dreamweavers again. In due time. In due time, we'll get there. Yeah, you missed Rap Rocks. It's okay, I'll do one more run. Uh, well, maybe I'll do like two runs. Depends on how many, if I reset a bunch. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. Big shout out to everyone who's subbed so far. And if you haven't subbed, feel free to throw some money at me. I'd appreciate that. Close the disc tray. The subs keep me going. Keep me, uh, keep me going on these, on this grind, you know. But even if you don't want to throw money at me, I appreciate you watching. Cog with the gift. Thank you. Man. It was more entertaining when the crazies were here. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I don't know really know what you want me to say to that. <laughs> like. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not as entertaining as someone being a fucking asshole. Like, like, let's be really clear. Like, I'm not here to be a fucking clown. I'm here to speed run, you know? I'm not here to fucking like... Like, how, however you look at entertainment is like... I'll leave that up to you. Three, two, one, go. Space Lazzy, thank you for the uh, five gifts. We love you, Lazzy. I hope you're doing well. By the way, Lazzy, I was just thinking about you. Um, I gotta hire you to... Uh, I gotta commission you, rather, to uh, make a, a bunch of... Um, Thumbnails, like uh, world viewer thumbnails, because I keep, I'm like running low on them again, and it's like, it's just kind of a pain in the ass for me to like go into the um, spiroscope all the time and take them, so. Just for the live streams, you know, just, you you, you know the vibe, like you, you've watched enough of my streams at this point, like that you know what my live stream thumbnail, thumbnails are, so. Um, send me a DM and I'll make like a, I'll make like a Google Drive that has a link to like the live stamp thing that I put in the top right. Um, and, uh, we'll talk, we'll talk details about it, if you wish. But yeah, I'll totally pay you to, like, send me a, a big, a big chunk of, uh, a big dump of emails. Big dumpy. Yeah, we'll talk business in the DMs. There's probably good entertainment today. This is all I'm saying, uh, Concerned Citizen, is that um, I don't really want to give like a lot of attention and love to people who are being annoyed. Like, it is funny. I'll admit it. It's funny that it's like, what the fuck is this person? Like, I'll admit it, you know? But I'm not trying to encourage that behavior. That, that's all I'm saying. It's, it's a delicate line, you know? So I'm not trying to glorify any of that in the way you are. That's all I'm saying. But I, I hear you. Because the truth is, is I would rather you guys just be chill and not like having to ban people all the time and whatnot. Even if it is like funny here, like you know, I'll always make the, I'll always try to make like as a as a I guess as an entertainer or whatever. I'll always try to make a light of a uh, someone being a fucking dumbass in my chat, but. And I obviously I don't hold back when it comes to telling people off and you know what, but I'm just not I'm not trying to have my stream just turn into all that all the time, you know, like feeding trolls all day, you know. 
All right, let's roll. What's up, Zillus? Now let's get down to brass tacks here. Still barely got him. Yeah, I know. Bex and Bex have had to work overtime today. So. Let's give her a let's give her a break. Let her enjoy that fucking pineapple pizza. Negative is the way to make quick money. I mean, you know, at this point, like. You know, you're telling me like how to stream and stuff, kind of. I know you're not trying to, but like, I don't want your like, you know, opinion on how to like make money and stream and stuff. Thanks. Like to to you, that's true, but to me, it's not true. You know. So I'm not I'm not really trying to have like a debate about it. I hope you understand. I, de I definitely disagree. Fuck it. Well, let's have a debate about it. it. Is being negative online like the best way to make money online? I mean, I I think I make decent money, and I'm I'm not overall negative. Sometimes I'm negative, but not like all the time. I think the, I think in general the vibe of this stream is mostly pretty positive. I don't think I like aim to be like to be like I don't know like heated about stuff because it's more interesting or whatever. I wouldn't want that. Even if it did, even if it did make more money to be that way, which I don't think it does in my case, in particular, every, every, every creator is different, right? But in my case, I don't think that's true. And then even if it was, uh, I wouldn't want to be like trying to, I'm not trying to like invite like people to be like assholes to me just cause it's like more profitable or something. You know what I'm saying? And it, I want to reiterate, it's not for me personally. Like, these people aren't subbing to me, you know? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, the people that are being annoying and whatnot. So the homies are the ones that are subbing and uh, showing support and love and... You know, regardless of money, I just I, I just want my stream to be a, a overall positive environment. Regardless of money. But yeah, no, I mean, I hear what you're saying, though, because some... Some creators and some streamers like thrive off of negative attention. Like that is true. What do they call like lol cows or whatever? Or like that one gambling guy on on a kick, you know? But, like that is not like the route I want to take in this in this field at all. Like even if even if me being constantly mad and banning people all the time or whatever is like hypothetically say I get like a much bigger viewership for doing that. I don't want that to be the focus of what I'm doing. The focus of the, in my mind, like what, what has gotten me this far in streaming is like, is like, I keep the game. I keep my speed run grind and my, my, uh, my whole journey through speed running as the focus of, of things. And just chatting and, and talking beyond that is really, all, I don't know. You could, you could call it un, an unambitious out, outlook, but I'm quite happy with where I'm at in streaming. I don't really desire to like grow a whole lot more or anything like that. Like I get, I get enough money from you guys, you know, I get enough um, viewership, enough validation. And I think to, to really ask for much more is like really kind of inviting trouble really. Ugh, come on. I'm gonna reset that. Painful. I'm having some good runs, thanks. Overall funnel, the whole internet is negativity. And give him that. Yeah, I mean, no, I totally like. I I, I see that point, you know. Okay, rolling. It's just because like some creators like thrive off negativity it doesn't mean that we're all like that, you know. And I don't think I'm like that.
Yeah, I agree, uh, concerned. Kick almost thrives off of, like, you know, negativity sometimes. Uh, what happened? Raz with $25. Thank you so much for the generosity. He says, is Sparks picks up uh, proximity based or is there more nuance? Um, there is nuance, but also it, it it's a it's an octagon around a spire. It's an invisible octagon. In fact, there's a there's a really cool thing called Lewis script on Bizhawk that shows exactly Sparks's range as like a little line on the ground. Um, and it's basically an octagon around a spiral. Um, and what's interesting about that octagon is that it doesn't actually shift or change in size, but what does change is Spyro's movement state as well as the camera. So what that means is that um, when you're charging, it'll appear like you can grab gems from diagonally forward further away because the camera, the field of view appears like it stretches out the, the game in such a way that it makes it look like you're grabbing gems from further. But the true like proximity of, Spy of Sparks' gem range actually isn't so in that way. It's kind of an interesting uh, illusion really is what it is. But despite that, you have to, um, you have to be ready for that. You have to be ready to that, like, okay, I can I, I can appear to grab this gem from further away if I'm charging and turning to the left. I can, you know, kind of stretch sparks, so to speak. But it is, it is technically speaking, an illusion. Sparks is, but yeah, the TLDR, Sparks' gem range is consistent, but it appears inconsistent based on uh, certain situations. That's the TLDR. Yeah, if you guys are interested in what's called Lua script for um, for Bizhawk, uh, a person named Piper uh, one something one eight blah blah blah. I forgot their full username. Piper made a made the script that shows that stuff. No, there's no reason for me. If you see me glide and it, or if you see me flame and it's not like directly hitting something, there, there's no point. It's just for fun. Like, it's not, it's one of those things, it's not that deep. World record right now is a 37.18 set by Ash, um, like, three days, three or four days ago. Or, something. Yeah, I know, that's a common question. It really, it speaks a lot to like how you guys are looking at the game as viewers versus myself as a player. You know, there's a lot of things in video games that are just like, oh, I just do this because it's fun, you know? But like when you're really trying to like really under, like learn the game as a viewer, it's like, oh, surely there's a reason for everything. And sometimes that's true and other times it's like, no. Yeah, Ash beat Laura by one second technically. Ash actually tied Laura before that and then and then beat her. Now, this all has happened in like the last week. No, yeah, that run was crazy, FW. Second try rat. If it had been a first try rat, it would have been for sure a 37, like low 37. 37 zero X or something. Yeah, Ash definitely. And then there there was other mistakes in the run as well. So it's like, Ash definitely like, uh, is, a, is like, there, there's a realistic um, argument that Ash can get a 36. Like, even with a mistake or two, you know, it's really, really crazy. I don't think myself or Laura are there. I'm not going to speak for Laura, but I'm I'm definitely not there yet. Do I treat this uh, like a job? Uh, yeah. I mean, I stream pretty much every day. Um, it's my main source of income. I treat it, rather than calling it a job because I'm not forced to do this. You know, nobody is like you have to stream. You know. In fact, you guys actually are very supportive when I choose to take long breaks. You know, if I want to not stream for like a few days and make a video or or just whatever. Like you guys tend to be pretty supportive about that, and that that is like a hard thing, I think, as someone who does like content like full time to to accept that it's like, hey, it's okay if you take like a week off or something, you know. 
Uh, but so that's why I don't like to say it's like a job. It's more like a career, you know. My hobby has turned into a career. Ugh. All right, th this run right here. If I do some shit like that, I'll try to no reset now. Do I keep a subscription income? So you're asking about YouTube, Lelly, and on YouTube, um, the paid thing is called membership, which is confusing because on Twitch it's called subscription. But a subscription on YouTube is the same thing as a follow on Twitch. Okay, so what you're talking about is memberships or super chats. And the answer is, uh, yes, I keep 70% of memberships and like 90 something percent of super chats. I think. Something like that. Where's my time save at? Um, you know, I, um, I think, let me uh, think about that for a moment. It's, um, I'm gonna let the intro play because I have learned after running against these splits for a while, there is some notable time save spots. One of them is gonna be in Blowhard because there's an IL strat that I do now that saves up to like four seconds. Um, usually less than that, but around there. Um, so Blowhard is the first like major time save of the run. Um, excuse me, I think there's like a second or two to save an ice cavern. There's there's a, one of the biggest time saves of the run is Misty Bog, which if I'm over gemmed going into that level, I can skip enemies and gems such that I can save up to 10 seconds there. In fact, I saved 11 seconds there yesterday. I think I had like one of my best Misty Bogs. So we'll say 10 seconds in Bog, um, a combined five seconds in the early game before that, um, not including just better movement. And then uh, another four seconds in the uh, Beastmaker's homeworld after Metalhead because I bonked twice on the wall. And um, then I think I think like maybe like two, two or three seconds in jock. If again, if I'm like, if my gem count is is over there, then I can save like two or three seconds in jock. And um, yeah, that's about it. There's other like, you know, less than a second or two second, or you can argue like stuff like that elsewhere. But how much does that all add up to? Of just like explicit time loss. You know? Four seconds and yeah, I don't know. That's like got to be like 20 or 30 seconds, right? Somewhere between 20 and 30 seconds of explicit time loss or time to be saved. Whatever you, however you want to call it. But, that, but that's given that everything else goes perfectly as well, which is not going to always be realistic. We'll just say 20, I think to, to be conservative, we'll just say 20 possible seconds of time save in these splits. Just to be conservative. Oops. Oh, it sucks. Seven gems missed. Yeah, that's, that's been a topic of discussion lately, uh, Neat, is that, like, when is it going to be, like, required to do Nestor Skip to PB? And I think that that it's less, um, like, required than maybe you might think at a glance. Just my just my opinion. I don't want to go too deep into why I think that way, but it's just, it's just my opinion. And, yeah, and I will say, uh, as my last thing about Nestor Skip without going on a huge fucking tangent about it like I did yesterday... Is that uh, I will eventually like learn it and incorporate it into runs. I'm just not doing it right now. I don't want to. It's just not my preference. It's kind of an unfun trick, to be honest. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I take that time loss. In, in lieu of, you know, playing and getting better at the actual game, you know. <laughs> but that's just a personal thing. Personal preference. My favorite trick in Spiral One, um, probably Credit Skip. Credit Skip's a really cool trick. It's really cool that Credit Skip even works at all. It, like it's one of those tricks that just like so many different things happen, like one after the other that just barely are possible. That it's just like wow, this is like a real. It's one of those just like this is a miracle that this works. And it's relatively consistent too if you practice it. So. It's fun to do, it's pretty cool looking as a viewer, and it's pretty a pretty huge time save. It's just a pretty miraculous, interesting trick all in all. Oops. 
Would you be allowed to use emulator to quickly reset? You know what's funny you ask that creature? So what you're implying with that question is that like, is that on emulator, instead of having to go back to the title screen, or like quit to the title screen and then start the game from the title screen, you're asking, could you start the game from a save state? That's really what you're asking. And the funny thing about that is that you used to be able to do that, actually. Back when, when Tuval got uh, got some of the first, uh, the low 130, um, 120 times back in 2014, um, he would play on emulator and he would reset to first movement, which is, you know, past the intro, the title screen and intro. Since then, however, um, the rules have been changed so that you have to start runs from the title screen. Um, this way, it's just more fair to, to people who play on console. And then that way, especially with tricks like Nestor Skip now existing and things like the Vortex Cheat, um, you know, starting the game, you know, starting the game from a save state, it starts the game from from a not natural uh, beginning. It's like you could be standing. Think about this. You could be standing at the first possible movement and then make a save state after like five minutes. So that way the like the seed of like Nestor's uh, vibration, which is relevant to Nestor skip, is different. Or perhaps maybe you enter in the vortex cheat like early before the save state or something like that, you know? So it introduces like the possibility for um, what I would consider like uh, kind of unfair play to, uh, to do that. But it's also more just a, a, a fairness thing as well. But I mean, I think that's one of those things that's totally like you can debate, like you can debate it if you want. But it's, it's like you, you could definitely debate in the other direction that like, hey, it's fine, you know. But yeah, you are required to start runs from the title screen. Nowadays. Well, I don't, I think seed was the wrong word. It's the the cycle. You could start on a more favorable dragon vibration cycle. I think seed is the wrong word. Seed like refers to like RNG and stuff, which is not what it is. If I wanted to run Cy Spyro, would my runs have to be on a physical game? You can play on emulator. Yeah, let me just re, re like back up a little bit. You can speed run this game on emulator. All I was saying is that you have to start from the title screen. If you're curious about what platforms are allowed and what and which ones aren't and when do you start timing and all that sort of stuff, uh, go on speedrun.com slash Spyro1. And there's a list of allowed emulators under the game rules button. So yes, you can speed run this game on emulator. It's okay. But you have to use a leaderboard approved emulator. And then like, depending on the emulator you're playing, you have to show certain things like on screen while you're playing and whatnot. Again, just for the sake of like making it less easy to cheat, you know? Thanks for the good luck. Is your mom single? So yeah, just check the leaderboard and all those questions will be answered for you. Is this game playable on it? Yeah, it's playable. It's, it's not like, it's not as good as, like you're talking about input delay. If that's like a concern for you, you're probably gonna wanna play on console. You're gonna want if input delay is, is a concern for you, you either wanna play on Duck Station, um, if you're playing on emulator, or um, play on a PS2 Slim, which is like the best input delay. And then if you're concerned about input delay, you gotta be thinking not just about your platform, but the monitor you're using as well. Because if you're playing on an emulator with a higher refresh rate monitor, that could make a difference. Or or even on console with an upscaler on a higher refresh rate monitor, that could make a difference. Or on a T certain on some CRTs have better, you know, input lag than others. So there, there's a lot that goes into input delay, but yeah, to, to answer the question, you can speed run this game on an emulator. It's not like it is worse input delay, but it's not so bad. If you set it up right, it's not so bad that it's like unplayable or you can't get good at it. There are plenty of really good speedrunners of, of this game on emulator.
Do I like any percent more than 120? Dude, fuck no, dude. 120 percent is like my, that's my baby, you know? That's like my fucking, that's the shit I played for like a decade, you know? That is by far like my favorite category, speed run, whatever of all time. But as I've, you know, been grinding any percent this past month, I've definitely gr like built a love and appreciation for this category that I didn't, did not used to have when I initially set my, you know, initial PB back in 2021. Like, I have a much better relationship with this category now than I used to. And dare I say, I actually kind of like it. But not as much as 120. Happy Friday, Resident Evil, and happy Friday to everyone else here. You know, uh, we'll see if this is the last run today or not. Uh, hopefully we can get a good pace going. I mean, we already are on a pretty solid pace here, so we'll try to lock in once we get into Ice Cavern here. But for now, I'll just uh, say, guys, I love you, and uh, thanks for watching. I am going to be offline tomorrow, by the way. Uh, so keep an eye on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting a video, a uh, highly edited video, hi highly long uh, under the works video by Bridgeman, where I tell the story of um, the shark um, playthrough of both Spiral 1 and 2 Reignited. So if you're curious about that... Make sure you subscribe, you fucking bitch. Anyways, let's focus on the run here. Post a damn cute emote. And we'll see what happens. In 2021, I set the first world record with Rat Proxy in this game. And I also got the first 37. I know, I'm, I'm a big deal like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Give me the swag roll a little too little too late. The swag roll is better in 120 because you have to grab the gem that's like right below you there. But in this category you don't, so it's better to jump charge. How long did it take me to learn rat? When I first learned it, I mean like I did it in a very consistent way. Inconsistent way. Uh you know, it took me like a Definitely many hours of practice. And then when I came back to this category like a month or two ago, I had to relearn it with the new with the new setup. And that took like a you know a few sessions. Definitely takes some hours I'm just sitting there with the old rat. Have I been to DC? Yeah, I've been to DC. Well, we went to this festival last year as well. It's called Sakura Matsuri. Um, and it's technically, the festival itself is going to be, uh, I think, all weekend. So like Saturday and Sunday. But Sarah and I are just going to be there on Saturday. Tomorrow. So if any of you guys are curious um, about going or maybe meeting up with us there, feel free to shoot me a DM on Discord. Exclamation point Discord in the chat. My DMs are open. Does learning new tricks work best on emulator? If if your only option is save state or uh, or vanilla console, then yeah, save state is better. But you got to remember that you can burn uh, practice codes to a disc if you have a soft modded PS2. So you basically have access to practice codes or to uh, to save states on console nowadays, thanks to Composer and Odd Cara.
So if you're curious about setting up practice codes uh, for your console, just type exclamation point practice codes in the chat. this work? Yeah, we're good. A little slow. Let's see how these cycles look. When I do the supercharge in the home world, you only get one wizard in any percent? The left one, yeah, because the left one has a green gem, and the right one has a red gem. You could go for both, but it puts you at more danger of getting your supercharge cancelled by the wizard in front of him. Because he, like, lifts up the platform, like, right as you go over it, which fucks up, like, the supercharge sometimes. So it's safer to just go for the left one. What's up, SG? Currently on pace to world record for the any percent to your fucking couch. Yeah, I'm sure. I like I like the aggression the aggression there. What's up, Bonnie? Thank you for the good luck. Nasty Nork says I'm a hoe. He's right. Oh man, and I got the bad cycle. Shame. Losing time here and 10 gems. Let's really get thorough with these. Cool gem count addition. You're talking about on the splits. Is that a new meta? I mean, no. I You know, actually having gem counts on your splits is... Oh my god, dude. Is actually useful um, even if you're a new player. So that way, you, I mean, your accounts might be different than mine. You have to kind of, you have to like find the ones that work with your route. But there's links to resources like that, like splits with gem counts on speedrun.com. A resources tab, I believe. Though they might be outdated, who knows? You're on lunch, you can watch my stream, dude. What are you eating, bro? If you have a mouthful of sandwich right now, don't even answer that. Just enjoy. Thanks for watching. You see how Spyro jumped there? I didn't jump. That was the wizard lift, lifting the platform, as we were talking about earlier. So even just going for the one uh, metal guy, you can still get your supercharge fucked up like that. Spaghetti, nice. Enjoy. Spaghetti. <laughs> Gay Luigi. Spaghetti for lunch is weird. No, man. Let the guy live, Mr. Jerry. Goodness gracious. He says he's at work. He probably brought it from home. This man's actually saving money on food, unlike some of you motherfuckers. You gotta respect him. At least that's my guess. Oh no. Dude. Always on the good paces, man. Oh. Why? It's such a rare thing to get like a high jump there. We're gonna continue though. I'm just missing a lot of gems and losing time. I can't believe that, dude. It's only on good runs that that happens. Why? 
It's just like you can't do anything about it. I, I, I need to figure out a way to like avoid that or something. So dumb. Yeah, pork ribs are one of my favorite like home cooked foods for sure. I made some nice ribs the other night and we actually reheated the leftovers with uh, some broccoli and some nice roasties, some uh, roasted potatoes in the oven. It was a good dinner last night. Good leftovers dinner type of vibe. God, that was so dumb. Ugh. Hopefully this, yeah, this is like I'm gonna be like five or six seconds behind here. And how many gems are we missing here? Three. Oh, we're actually not missing that many. Still though. That was like really dumb. This game just is an asshole sometimes with stuff like that. So you do a supercharge a certain way and it works like 90%. That's literally that supercharge. It works that way 90% of the time, but just every once in a while, you'll get like a crazy jump there. It's like, what the fuck? It's my favorite out of bounds trick. I mean, I said my favorite trick earlier was credit skip, and I guess that counts as an out of bounds trick as well. But the artisan's wall glide is another cool out of bounds. Uh, what else? Any other good? Any other suggestions in the chat? The fucking this isn't a trick that I do. It's a vortex strat, but the fucking um, the damage boost in blowhard is really cool. I This, I don't know if this counts as out of bounds, but it's a fucking massive fucking damage boost as well and lofty. That serves no purpose in speedrunning, but it just is shoots you really high up. Oh yeah, going through the wall in Alpine Ridge. That's another cool one, because it's like, what's he doing? And then it's like, oh shit. <laughs> it's the one polygon with no collision. Early loot, yeah, early loot is a really cool out of bounds for sure. I'll give you that. That one is like one of those where you're like, you're barely like trying to stay out of bounds by doing wacky ass movement and stuff. Yeah, that's a cool one. I'll give you that. the gem that sucks but on the bright side i did get the good cycle so this should save time if i do the rest of the level good back some time save here good cycle refers to the platforms going up and down in that level those platforms are on like yeah I get technically it's not but we call it like a global cycle a faux global cycle which means that depending on how fast you do the first half of the level it affects how quickly you get to those platforms so when I say I'm on a good cycle I'm on like you know a good I'm on a good cycle with those Interestingly, for a long time, I thought the best cycle was gotten with an old strat that I did, but it turns out there's an IL strat that I learned recently that actually puts you one platform cycle ahead, which I happened to hit here. I hit the IL cycle, you could call it. So that was cool. But what's not cool is that even though I'm barely keeping up with these splits, um, I am probably pretty badly under gemmed here. But we'll see. Let's see what the damage is. Oh, see, like these missed gems are really not helping. Like, I, I think I've had a couple too many of those to justify. Let's see. We want 3485. We are way under that. We're at 3462. So, yeah, we're going to have to be pretty thorough from here to the end means we're not going to be saving the maximum. We're not going to be saving the full 10 seconds in Bog. If I'm lucky, I might save four or five. 
I mean, if I play well and am thorough, then I'll say four or five. Easier said than done. Let's just not fail this level again. Goodness gracious. Oh, I almost missed that. Ah, the new J. Stop falling on the swamp every time, losing time here. No, I asked that. He's joking, because I asked about that before, I think. It's an intentional damage abuse to those who don't know. Yeah, some of you guys don't know. That's an intentional damage abuse, because you get invincibility frames after falling in the water. So we use those invincibility frames to charge into two of the firework chests, which is faster than just charging straight into them and then having the knockback animation for both. It's the only way to charge both of those chests without, with only taking one damage. So it's faster because of the iframes. I'm gonna dodge this guy. Oh god, this is bad. This is really bad. I might have to go back for all those gems later. That really sucks. Should have just been more thorough. Like, I knew I should have been thorough. Like, I said aloud, I have to be thorough here. That was like unnecessarily ballsy movement. Posthumous. Let me grab these reds. Should I grab all of these enemies? I, I would skip these if I was over gem. best place to make up lost gems like at this point in the run you're not gonna like this answer but it's gonna be just like little by by being more thorough than not just on the same route that's the best way to make up lost gems i know that's not maybe the answer you were looking for like a specific spot where there's a ton of gems that i could just go out of the way for like a second or two unfortunately it's not quite that simple you just have to like be more oh god you just have to be more thorough that was really close i've never been sealing like that there that's so funny yeah, definitely throwing the PB pace here, unfortunately. But it's okay. And still, uh, hopefully this run is still, like, good. That's all I can hope for. Oop, gotta hit this. Nice. And I'm gonna be, like I said, I gotta be thorough here and, like, go back for all these. Again, if I was over gen, I could have potentially skipped those. So you can see how, like, you know, it's not like any one spot where you recover all the gems or anything. I wish I could have grabbed those, those other guys as well, but it is what it is. Okay, now, I gotta remember, I'm not gonna look at the chat or anything here. I gotta remember to grab the fodder before treetops. Before treetops. Look, I'm only losing a second there, by the way. It really goes to show how much time there is to save. Grab the fodder before treetops. I've been fucking this up in my runs lately. Before treetops. Before treetops. Oops. Grab that before- No, don't go in! Before treetops. All right, there we go. It was slow, but whatever. First try rat can put me in the green? Uh, false. I actually had a first try rat in these splits, so it would not necessarily make me save any particularly notable amount of time to get a first try rat. Uh, just talking about comparing against these splits. But yes, yeah, so a first try rat would confirm a good run, regardless of whether I'm ahead or not. It's true. Dude, I keep hitting the fat guys too early, causing the thief not to stop, causing him to reach the platform early, causing him to not teleport to the next area, which means that I have to wait for him. So as a result, I will grab these boxes here because I have to wait anyways. Really dumb stuff. More time loss. Fodder, with, a, with two Ds, uh, refer to like the little chickens and sheep that you um, refill sparks with.
What's up, Alex? Thank you for the good luck. Dude, I wish this tree was giving me top right now, dude. This fucking tree... I'm getting bottomed as hell right now. I'm getting fucking... I'm not even gooning, if I'm being honest. In typical me fashion, I, I have a good run out of Magic Crafters that I choke in the late game. Like, all right, like classic. It's okay, we're gonna get a good run one of these days. I'm, t I'm happy with how I'm, like, recovering anyways. At least I'm playing with, like, a good level of active focus. And still answering all you guys' silly questions. Whoa, really? How old are you? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? I'm 28, though. All the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. You guys like my rendition? Oh my god, just get down there. Fucking bitch. This dude, whoa. The fuck you mean, whoa? How is 28 even like a remotely. How is that a whoa? Dude, I could have sworn you were like 29 or 30, maybe. You look like you're maybe even pushing 40, which is pretty average for, for a guy in, in his late 20s, early 30s who's balding. But still, though, whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, dude, this guy fucking went Crash Bandicoot in the chat with these woes. You first played this game in uh, 97? That's crazy because this game came out in 98. So, fucking time traveler ass dude. Well, how did I miss all those blues? I literally need them. I'm wasting time here. Oh, tri triple A, the dev. Yeah, that's why his name's Triple A. He's a dev. Dude, where's the gold? <laughs> Dude changed his answer. Oh, well, now that you've said that, Dave, actually what I meant to say was 98. Definitely losing time. I'm kind of choking it here. Yeah, Metalhead shits out the gems. They come out of his asshole. Fun fact, that's actually where babies come from as well. Come on. Ooh, I needed that too. Okay, I didn't check my gem count. I probably should have grabbed the greens that were over there, but whatever. It's fine. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Fan even pointed at me. I gotta point this fan at me. There we go. Wow. Ooh, wish I would have got that uh, mushroom there. I'll have to grab this one now. Whoa, I almost fell down there. Five ones are, yeah, I'm definitely under gemmed right now. But, but uh, give me this. Ah. ah, come on. Slow, classic me being slow. On runs that can't PB, I go for it, you know, like whatever, send it. But I think when I do finally get a PB-able run, like, to Dreamweavers, I I'll stop doing that <laughs> that strat. I'll just flame them. 
a lot more a lot more reliable one more run after this uh we'll see how the timing works out my girlfriend stops working at uh 4 30 and i don't know what time it is right now i'll have to check after i when i get a free moment so i may want to go offline early to help sarah pack and stuff we are driving to dc tonight so i'm not able to put in a monstrous stream or anything the jester flop we call it flora flop because Laura found it. Um, saves about three to four seconds of having to wait for, to otherwise having to flame the guy and wait for the platform to rise. I got 70 minutes. Maybe I will do another run. I don't know, maybe a little Twitch subscription or a YouTube super chat membership perhaps might, might influence me to do another run. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Bex, you're going to be streaming tonight. I'll raid you. Oh, how many gems did I? I didn't even see the gem count there. Should be just. I, mean, I think I should have enough to hit them with the strat. I'm doing the wrong thing there. Oh, I needed that. I gotta stop going for that. I gotta just play it safe there with this shit. You need to get fancy. Yo, Tyler with the uh, fucking YouTube membership there. I think I will do another run in honor of Tyler. Legend. Thank you for that, man. Welcome to True Spyro Gamer. Got another membership from uh, Nissus. Love that. I love that name, by the way, because it reminds me of uh, the location in Morrowind named Nissus. Okay, I have to grab a three here. Oops, and then grab the blue. It's a little silly there. Okay, so plus 22, you know, it's better than my last run, but it's still not as good as I want, obviously. Um, where did this run die? It died in, uh, died in bog, I think. Yeah, it kind of died in bog, and then it and then it bled in Metalhead and, uh, and the home world. So yeah, that makes sense. Let's see what we get here. Oh, come on! Yes! Nice. Give me the 37. They're barely going to squeak out a 37 here. Love it. Love it. Yeah, let's fucking go. Hyper's in the chat. It's all these, dude. Wistful Dragon and Pim's Engineering. Guys, thank you for the YouTube memberships. I think it's all because of the YouTube members that I'm getting lucky with the rat today. I think you guys are influ influencing the universe to make it so. Oops. Thank you guys. Yeah, YouTube chat really redeemed themselves today. You guys started weak, but now you're now you guys are you guys are on my good side now. I love you guys. I love all you guys, honestly. From the cute to the generous to the totally bitch made. I love each and every one of you. 3752. Matching one of my uh, old PBs actually, I think. Not bad. Sorry I took so long. Kind of forgot about you. Would have liked a 374X, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We take a we take a 37. So my two no resets today have both been first try rats, uh, low 38 and high 37 respectively. Unfortunately, the uh, Dreamweavers times are not really at the level I want them to be. However, with that said, I think I'm clutching up well enough, even despite some mistakes here or there throughout these runs. So I'm really happy with how this grind's going today, all in all honesty. 
I ain't, I ain't getting no world records or anything, but I'm definitely putting down some good runs, so can't really be too mad about that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skip the credits here. The screen should go black here because I opened the disc tray. It is faster, I think, technically to just reset the console, but whatever. I'm doing it this way. Just vibe, you know, you get to vibe out to the credits music. All right, and uh, I'm just gonna go pee real quick and then I'm gonna do one more run. So stick around, I'll be right back. One more run. One more run to rule them all. Let's see what happens, everybody. Ah, oh, yeah, Das Cats. Have a good one, man. Three, two, one, go. So this run is in honor of a. Uh, the four people that did YouTube memberships just now. Tyler Beal, Nissus, Pims Engineering, and Wistful Dragon. I love you Get guys. Rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful. Now this run might reset, by the way. Like, you know, if I, I'll, I'll, if I need to, I'll take a reset or two, but I'm going to try to get a no reset going. So regardless, it'll all it'll all be in y'all's honor. The world record is a 3718 set just a few days ago by Ash R E underscore L. Let's get right into the news. I haven't watched Drama Alert in like, what, like six years maybe? Last time I watched Drama Alert was like last time I watched H3, H3 Productions. That's just like ancient history to me. Thirty-seven ten. you think I got it on this one? We'll see. Imagine being 20 minutes into a run, 10 seconds off PB, 20 seconds. <laughs> I think you're describing me right now, Jordan. It sounds like you're describing one of my runs. Is this uh, based off of a true story? How do you become a member? Uh, there should be a button right underneath my stream, um, but there's also a link in my uh, description as well under my stream. And thanks for considering, Benny.
What's up, Claudia? Say thank you, June. Yeah, I'm digging it. It's, it's just a good vibe today, all around. You know, I'm not getting any world records or anything, but at least I'm, uh, you know, doing. I would say I'm playing above average today. Good recovery today, I'll say. Like good presence of mind. You know. Some days you can like execute well, but you don't like have the. Uh, the active focus, like the presence of mind to constantly adjust, you know, to have that adjustment factor, recovery factor. Today, I feel like I do have that to a reasonable degree. It's probably why my times are better than shit. And yeah, I have been getting lucky with Mama Proxies as well. That's also nice. Yo, Benny! <laughs> Benny actually did it. Thank you for the uh, for the YouTube membership. Love the, um, the profile pic, by the way. <laughs> the Mario 64, never mind. Love that. Thank you, Benny. Legend. Welcome to Spyro Gaming Legend. Such a classic message. <laughs> Such an iconic membership message. It's just, it's just proper English right there. Announcement. Slut time. Everyone stop what you are doing and slut. Thank you. Slut is not a verb, but it is an important announcement. Thank you for sharing, Goyle. How do you slut something? How does one slut? Damn, Piccolo, you too? Thanks in advance. Just slutting around. Slutting and strutting. Damn, slag is the UK word. I think I, I've heard that one on Love Island. They also talk about mugging each other off all the time. Oh, he mugged me off. <laughs> Sl slut is still a word in the UK, hell yeah. Slag, slut. I don't mind being a little slutty in this chat room. You guys are looking pretty damn sexy, dare I say. <laughs> little slag. Oh, that, that's what your emote said. I thought your emote said slay, Bex, this whole time. I, like, didn't read it that closely. It says slag. Oh my god, that was like a fucking Mandela effect moment right there for me. Holy shit. Um, yes? Yeah. What's up, Laura? How's runs? Dude, I've been getting mamas, you know, I've, I got a 37, a high 37 and a low 38 today. Two first try rats, I mean, this ain't no world record or nothing, but damn, I'm having a pretty solid day, I'd say. Really can't complain about that. Like chat, dude, right? To get them all. I'll tell you the trick, Laura. The trick is to um, is to wait uh, when you when you jump before flame charging into them. Wait for the descent. Like wait an uncomfortably long amount of time with the jump, so you could really 
you know, DI forward as much as possible before the flame charge. That's the trick with it. You can't just jump and immediately flame charge. You have to jump and then as he's descending, you know, while pushing forward, then that's the trick. Yo, uh, Liz, thank you for the raid. And what's up, Moondoggle? Moondoggy? Awesome username. Hope you're doing well. Did I tell you, uh, Moon? I think you, you've been here before. I, I have a, um, I have a SoundCloud track called Sky Doggy, <laughs> where I played vibraphone over an unused, uh, Spyro, uh, Spyro 2 Homeworld track. Pace, yeah, Pace, dude, Pace Pal's in the chat, bro. That's a good, good run. Yeah, shoutouts to my, yeah, my, that's my favorite, uh, my finest work on SoundCloud is Buffalo Chicken Dip. Named after my fa favorite flavor of uh, 7 Eleven brand potato chips. Chirps, crisps, quirps, burps. Okay, we're good. Oh, Mind and Organs Music, by the way. Thank you for the, um, for the YouTube membership. Appreciate that, Mind and Organs. I'm still keeping my eyes peeled for the Piccolo one. I haven't seen that one yet. Piccolo, Piccolo, uh, edging me with the, with the membership right now. <laughs> they say... So I was working on a new on a new superhero. His name is called Gooner Man. And I told Chat about it. I said, hey chat. What do you think about Gooner? They said, they said, Stan, get back to edging. Nobody likes Gooning. They said, Stan, you fumbled the bag. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> He's back to edge. <laughs> so, Ash, thank you for the good luck. Man, I gotta get back to edging. Like, Ash, I'm way ahead of you. You don't gotta tell me twice. I shouldn't do that first uh, charge jump there. Quiet the audience. Hey, everybody, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo, Alex with $20 on YouTube. Thank you, man. Thank you for the generous super chat. I love you, Alex. Hope you're having a great day. And thanks for uh, enjoying the stream. Man. Making my day with that. Should save a second here. That felt like a good level. Oh yeah. Nice. 
Will I get the sub 1240 here? Let's see. Maybe if I split earlier than every other human on the planet. Oh yeah. Oh dude, man, this split pedal, man, it takes a beating. You guys could wish, only could wish to get stepped on as much as this split pedal. It's such aggression and confidence. run too. Yeah, you don't have to be super precise with your splitting. Because you can always retime the run after it's done. When you submit it to the leaderboards and stuff. Oh, red, blue. Classic blue miss there. What's up, Shadow of Balor? Balor? Ooh, damn, another blue miss. Whatever. Thank you for the love, Nonos. Where do you buy a split pedal? You just buy a USB foot pedal on Amazon. They're like 10 bucks. Saving some time at the cost of a few gems, saving a, saving a couple seconds. Does the dodge roll cancel the flame animation? No. It just puts me in a better position, and I have to wait for that uh, fan chest anyways. So it doesn't lose time. And does put me in a better exit angle. Okay, I'm gonna go wide here. I can just feel it. Yep, I knew it. I knew that was gonna fuck me. Smart. I gotta be like fucking. I'm I'm in tune with the game today. Oh, and another bad cycle, dude. Ugh, it's two runs in a row. That's just unlucky right there. But whatever. Just a couple seconds. the hardest part of any percent besides rap progress you're probably getting a good pace out of uh, cliff town like not getting stuck in the reset vortex of the early game Bailey, good to see you. Yeah, lots of bad dragons in the chat today, man. We do like a bad dragon in this chat. You get it because it's a sex toy company? <laughs> I love sex.
This is, I gotta say, this is probably the horniest top three in Spyro speedrunning main category history. <laughs> I don't I'm not trying to throw Laura and Ash under the bus here. <laughs> Unabashed. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting to grab that guy. Fuck. Every time. I just don't think to do it. Okay, don't get fucked by this charge. Yeah, I almost got... I think... Yeah, I think I'm like going too wide and like getting like a ramp off of the edge is what's happening there. That's why I've been getting that more lately, or getting fucked there more lately. Luckily, I didn't get too much of a ramp there. What's up, Markeisha? Thank you for the good luck. The little phone, like... <laughs> Hello? What kind of McDonald's has a fucking message? <laughs> oh, damn, dude. All these missed blues are kind of killing me. I'm gonna have to try... I think I'm gonna have to go for that blue when I exit the level. Blue fuck when I... When I get out of here. I could skip it, but at this point I've already missed a few blues, so... Feeling not ballsy about it. What's up, Miris? Thanks for the good luck. Spinners in the chat. Love to see him. Spam that spin to make me win. I wish people didn't drive slower as shit. Let him be. Just go around. It's not a big deal. What are you in? Some kind of hurry, Michael? It's a big rush. There should be a mod where you play as sparks with three X's. Damn, it sounds like a porn site. A spiral flying around here. That'd be kind of badass. Blue fuck. I can charge on this, which is kind of nice. Alright. IL strat. Can we get it? Let's see. such a good attempt, but that's okay. That's still saving time. That's still good. And I didn't miss any gems either, which is good. If I had just been more ballsy on the platforms, I would have made that. Ooh, I got lucky with that flame. Crazy taxi. <laughs> it's a crazy run right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 
Okay, I think I'm okay on gems. We'll see. Oh, okay. He scared me. Dude, that is actually awful. What the fuck? It's okay. Not the end of the world. There is a Sparks at the start of Misty Bog. I just have to have a nice cleanup here coming out of Wild Flight. Which is super annoying for how good this pace is, but whatever. We have three, four, nine. Okay, we're actually on a beautiful gem count, so we can be ballsy in Bog. But got to keep our wits about us here. Being sparksless, not good. I might even skip like a, a couple greens or something coming out of the, the level. Ooh, I almost... Oh! I might have to play it safe here on the planes. We'll see. I'll assess it in the moment. going for it. We're good. Woo! That was kind of heart pounding. Okay. Just make sure we grab the blue and a green here. the road. Okay, we have the potential to really pull ahead here, so let's see what happens. Come on. Whoa, got lucky. Playing it safe on this movement right now. Whatever. Should have been better. Just move. No, I. Uh, uh, the chokes. Okay, I'm not gonna play it uh, ballsy downstairs now. That sucks. That was really dumb of me. And decide what to do. Choking it. Not the bog we want to see so far, but it's not over yet. I mean, it's, it's not dead or anything. We're still green, but not great. Let's continue. Don't okay. grab that. That was fun. Oh, that's annoying, but whatever. Luckily, I am over gem going into this level, so it's like, I can take these gem losses, it's just, they're not where I want them to be, you know? They're not resulting in the time save that I, I could be getting. I'm dead. Run's dead. Oh, come on, man. I'm going to finish it. GG's, everybody. GG's. I just cannot get a good run out of Dreamweavers, y'all. Like, it's just illegal for me. One day, like, I surely... Here's my thing, guys, is after I get done with this break this weekend, because, like, look, I'm going on a break after this run. Pace Pals are leaving my stream in mass right now. I get it. But I'm not done with this grind, everybody. Like, I want you all to know, I am going to get a 37-1x, at least. Like, I am not done grinding this category until I at least do that. I'm not getting it today, unfortunately. I am not getting it tomorrow, because I'll be offline. But I will come back and keep grinding this. I'm not done with this grind. I want everybody to know that. Man, that was such a choke. God, I choked this bog like crazy. You can't choke it much harder than that. It sucks. 407, by the way, missing like 30 gems there. 
No longer over gemmed. No longer ahead. Literally did er literally did the worst bog I could have done there. Like. Thank it's you. Not just a hobby to me. <laughs> Fucking it's right. Thank you, Goyle. God, I feel like I let everybody down, you know? It's like, geez, dude. All these people that subbed. Ugh. I need I need words of affirmation right now. I need I need I need something. My face is red with embarrassment. Dude, I have done that every run today. Oh my god, you have to wait with this strat and my movement. You have to wait like a smidge before hitting those two guys or else the, the green guy runs past. Ugh. I need to remind myself about that. Because either I wait a smidge there or I do the ash strat and get like way ahead of him. And even with the ash strat, you still I think have to get the green guy to, to stop on the guys, so... Yeah. Just because I didn't like take that little like fraction of a second there, I lost like, you know, three seconds or whatever it was. So dumb. I just gotta remember that. I gotta have my m muscle memory adjusted so that I'm not trying to go as fast as possible there. Or perhaps practice the Ash Strat as well. That could be another alternative. I have looked at it before, but I'm definitely not convinced that that's the move for me yet. Yeah, canceling my sub now. Yeah, true. Oh shit, I almost fucking fell there. Oh, I hit the- God fucking damn it! <laughs> Throwing it! Now I'm like, I'm kind of severely under gem now. And way behind. I choked. Oh, I choked so hard. Ah! You know? You guys understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys feel my pain? Hey, nice time. Hey man, it was still a good day of runs. Yeah, I agree. You know what? I, I'll i choke down my embarrassment right now. I agree. Today was a good day of runs. I totally agree with that. Um, I'll check that donation in a sec. Thank you for that. Thank you for the reminder. This run isn't over yet. I mean, this run can still be- OH GOD! This run can still be good. Almost died there. No, I'm not actually. Don't ask. Yeah, I have to click over to see. Yeah, it's still 37 -able. I mean, this run can 37 still. It's not like this run is like awful or anything. Now it's just not. I just, I just choked it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what it is. Choked a good pace. It's the way the cookie shits, my friends. Zalro, you're high as I am not high at all right now. I'm gonna be stoned as fuck later tonight though. I'm buying some weed. So we're all out. Okay. Uh, Benny with the ten dollars. Thank you for that for the reassuring message, Benny. I, I definitely need it right now. <laughs> I need as much reassurance as I can get right now. I'm a I'm a shell of a man at the moment. Oh, you fuck you, all right? Let's just wait a little longer, shall we? Bitch. Oh, and I missed another blue down there, epic. God damn, 
I'm going to be... This, this is going to be an ugly gem count going into a uh, jock. Yeah, I'm surprised to save, what is that, three, four seconds in Metalhead? I didn't know I could save that much time there. Need to grab the extra mushroom. Dude, and again, anytime I need the mushroom, that first one doesn't give me the freebie. Classic, I have to fucking hit this bitch. And then dodge more gems and keep it moving. Alright, let's see if we get the flop at least. Since this run doesn't matter anymore, let's go for the flop. That, like, maybe could have worked. Dude, please hit him. I promise I won't go for that on PB. Just to anyone who might be curious. Like, dude, why do you always go for that? You fail it. Blah, blah, blah. I won't do it on PB. Unfortunately, I'm off to work. Good luck. Have a good one, Gwendolyn. Wish you could stick around to see how the hype run ends. Yes, yeah, have a good day, Gwendolyn. We love you. And thank you, Fortnite. I appreciate the kind words, everybody. I, I gotta be honest, kinda fucking hate myself right now. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to fucking go to sleep and never wake up type beat right now. But, that's just part of the grind, everybody. That's just how it goes. So thank you for the, uh, for the reassurance. I do appreciate it. I'm finishing this run. I'm gonna try to finish this run strong. Irish Eagle with the five dollars. Then he says, "You got this." Here's to another day of the grind. Yeah, which it's funny that you say that because I'm gonna be offline tomorrow. But yes, here's to another day. Today, here's to today. Thank you, man. Thanks for all the support today, everybody. It makes me feel extra. Feel it's like I, I know you guys don't intend this, but it's like it's such an it's like an extra weight on me that it's like I choked so hard on a good run today. It's like ah, oh, and everyone's like speed supportive. It's like ah, oh. I know you guys don't mind one way or the other, but. I just want to say I love you. I, I want to do right by this chat room, you know? I want to get the runs that I'm meant to get or whatever. I did not look at my gem count, by the way. I was busy getting all emotional and shit. Let's see what happens. Yeah, the good news is I, w I won't fret too much about it, JS. I'm, I'll surely, surely be over it by tonight. Just would have been nice to get, but, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda. I'm gonna fucking shut the fuck up. I'm talking to myself, by the way. Oh! You are a great slut. Thank you, Goyle. I didn't bonk? What, where? I bonked like I've definitely bonked in this run, right? I don't think I've done a like a single like bonk list run. Or maybe I have, I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Nine seven <laughs> I'm like so badly under gem run, that's like kind of comical. Yeah, this run was just a complete fuck. I don't even know where to get all these gems. Just grab it. Go here. They're gonna get shot again. Okay. How many do I have? Nine, nine, nine zero, zero. Now I can grab these, I think. At the J spot, dude, it's not. It's, I refuse to call and to name anything after a guy that was trolling me in my chat. I refuse to. What you, what you meant to say is that I bonked on single cake. The fucking J spot. Too much in the middle of them there. It's gonna be too much to the right. Should have turned left more. Oh, I pressed right to her. That was a great. That was gonna totally work, but 
I pressed right too early. Oh man, too far left. There's my game over. Rar. God, I am, ugh. Like all these negative feelings inside me, I am such a disappointment. Aren't I? Today was looking so uh, bright. I was, it was looking so hopeful. Just ripped away from me. Now I feel like I feel like I'm so empty. Dude, I'm too far left on the ones that I'm trying to be left. No? No what? Wait, what did I say? Oh my god. Come on! No! Oh! Come on. I'm gonna go here. No, that did not work. Terrible attempt. Oh, you mean I'm not a dis- I feel like such a fucking bitch right now. You guys have no idea. I fucking- I'm glad you guys aren't disappointing me. The pace pal- the people who left already certainly are. But... Whatever. I don't need them. As long as I got you guys. Come on, just come on. Like, that's a perfect ex- Perfect angle, perfect setup, perfect execution, the game still says no. Fuck you. That's not gonna... No, that was taking too long to set up. You've got 80 miles down. D Michael, I feel bad. Like, I feel like I've made you, like, drive, like, across the country or something just to see me. Like, I, I feel bad, like. Oh my god. Like, I wanted to be super clear, like, from the get- before you left, that, like, you don't have to come see me if you don't want to, you know? But I figure you do want to, so hey, whatever. Like, it'll be nice seeing you. Come on! When those happen, it makes me want to just like, like grab my stomach and just rip my guts out. That's what it makes me want to do, like. Please, oh. And then those. Those literally just rip my fucking balls right off my fucking dick, dude. Like, just <laughs> let me be done, man. Just give it to me! You know? That's not gonna work. That was my bad. I didn't aim left enough. Come on! Oh! I need to take- I need to just breathe for a moment. It's- I, I can't believe it! Like, how fucking close can I get? How fucking close is it gonna let me get, guys? What am I fucking looking at? This is fucking actually so crazy. Please just get in there. Like, what the fuck? Of course. Of course. Like, I, I genuinely need to, like, sit down and take a breather, like, for how fucked up this shit is right now. Not gonna work. Plug in my light here. Just 
so you guys can see me in somewhat more lit circumstances. Dude, and then when that happens, it's like, what is he, what are you gonna do? Am I trying to perform a glitch? Uh, technically not a glitch, but yes, I am trying to skip two levels by getting bounced up in the air by this rat, essentially. It's not technically a glitch, but if you want to call it that, then whatever. <laughs> Everyone in the YouTube comments like, this is definitely a glitch. I can't. I literally can't do it. It's crazy. Here comes, dude, this is how I know I've been attempting rat proxy. I start getting the comments that are like, dang, this trick seems really difficult at the end of a run. It's crazy how you guys don't say that when I get it like first or third try. You guys only say that when I'm struggling with it. Isn't that funny how that works? <laughs> yeah, it is difficult, but it shouldn't be this inconsistent. Like I'm fucking up here. Bro, might as well go through- Dude, I gotta stop looking at chat. You guys are actually making me fucking so sad. Zero faith having chat. I'm not saying anyone's trolling me. I'll be very clear here. Thank you for your chats and thank you for watching and thank you for however you express whatever you express in my chat. Thank you. I appreciate it. I am just upset right now, so please forgive me if I miss... There we go. If I misconstrue your chat. Oh, I'm a... <laughs> I let go of X, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh, let's see if we can get on the pole here. That was my. That was entirely my fault. See, like half of these errors are my fault, and half of them are the rat kind of kind of vibe. That one was definitely my bad. Set it up right. I, by the way, I have nothing to say here. I'm just, I'm just, just existing here with this rat right now. What a sad way to end such a good pace, dude. This is such a shame. Like, it really, this whole run was just such a shame. Look at these splits, everybody. Look at this. Look how far ahead I was there, you know? So I'm I'm such a failure. <laughs> like it's so sad. Like crazy. Oh, that was close actually. <laughs> no, my brothers. <laughs> I want to just read to those of you who are like, damn, why is this so inconsistent? Like, 
why does he do this inconsistent trick at the end? Of I want to just like say something. I did this first try on my two runs before this. Just, just, just context there. Just important context. Readers added context. This can be done first try. I'm just like on some crazy like mental degeneration type shit right now. So it's a mixture of me being terrible and getting unlucky and then like it's like a negative feedback loop type of thing. So please keep that in mind. Not that I need to... Not that I'll convince any of you guys that I... on anything. Yeah, 100% determination. That's which I'm definitely not done until I get this. He's too far away to get it. Not quite set up correctly. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Why did I turn around? There we go. 11 minutes. It'll be like 12, 13 minutes on that. Man. That's all I can say. No, I'm not going to do credit skip because this is my last run of the day, so I want to like kind of sign off during the credits. I would keep going, but uh, Sarah and I are going on a uh, road trip. God, I feel like shit. Ugh. Three runs today were 38.03, and then 50, 12, 50, 12, 50, on, by the way, on world recordable pace going into, world record pace going into, uh, Misty Bog, by the way. By the way. What will you do next? So yeah, I, I you know, I, it, it's kind of upsetting, you know, it's a little upsetting. Just a little, just like, it's just a tiny upsetting. But, <laughs> Jesus. But, I'm thankful, and I'm, I'm honestly indebted. I feel indebted to those of you who have been extra generous today. On YouTube, we've had a bunch of members and super chats. Like, I want to do right by you guys. I'm going to keep grinding this. I, we will get the third. I'm not quitting. I am taking the day off tomorrow because I am going, driving up to DC and doing fun, cute stuff with my girlfriend. But... After when I get back home on Sunday, we are going to continue this grind until I get until I get the time I want, you know. And I'm not going to put too much pressure. There's going to be no pressure, you know. It's going to be I'm just going to keep having days like this until I don't, and that's and that's just what it's going to be. But yeah, man, that run really, really, uh, really sucked. I'm not going to lie, that run really fucking hurt me. I I hurt myself. <laughs> as comical as that really is to say about this, but. You know, I just, I want you guys to know that you guys' donations and your support while I'm like, you know, playing well and on a good vibe, I strive for that vibe that I had for most of the stream today. And for me to throw it at the end, you know what? It's just part of the, the whole thing. But this is a really hard hobby, everybody. This is a hard hobby to stay positive, to keep the vibes up, to do all that, you know? So. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, I just want to reiterate for like the millionth time, we got a lot of support today. And that just means like so fucking much to me, guys. And it makes me, it's an extra heavy weight on me when I'm acting like a little bitch, you know, and taking 10 minutes on the rat like that. So I'm going to do right by you guys and continue this fucking grind. I'm posting a video tomorrow, by the way. In case any of you guys are curious, you could, you know, follow my YouTube. 
We're gonna keep on doing this shit. I'm not quitting. I'm gonna keep it cool. I'm gonna keep my mindset. I'm gonna stay happy as much as I can. And uh, yeah, but today I've officially lost my mind and I uh, that is it for me today. And uh, wish me luck on my little uh, DC trip with Sarah. It's gonna be a fun one. Uh, even though I fucking hate myself right now, I, it is going to be fun and I'm gonna, you know, by tomorrow I'll feel, I'll feel fine. And um, <laughs> that message, 5012 is still top 150. <laughs> I mean, it's just, a, it's a good time, really. It's just a great time. I shouldn't be embarrassed about this time. It's a, it's honestly 50 minutes. Like, that's better than like someone who's never speed ran before, right? Yeah, really great point. Anyways, uh, yeah, let me find someone to raid. You know, guys, it's not about how I feel about my times. It's about how I compare to everyone else that matters. <laughs> so unless I'm the very best, then I hate myself. That's a really good way. Or if I'm better than 99% of people, then that makes me feel good about myself too. It's not, guys, remember, this isn't an intrinsic journey that it's just me in the game and however I feel about my own gameplay is all that really matters. Forget about that. It's about how cool you look how high you are on a speedrun lead. Remember that. Because looking cool is more important than doing something that's important to you. Remember that. It's important stuff. Okay, um, let's go on to... Let's go. <laughs> With that note, shut the fuck up, me. Let's raid, uh, let's raid Vex. <laughs> Why did I raise the price of my PP is small? I don't really want to end the stream on this note, but I will answer the question for you. It is, um, I don't like getting a lot of channel point redemptions. So when people do redeem them, I want to acknowledge them and say, hey, thanks for watching, you know? Um, so my minimum channel point thing is like, what, 50,000? So if you care about building channel points over a long period of time, you can still do that. And on top of that, I'll actually acknowledge you for it. Instead of like people just spamming like channel points, like a thousand here, 10,000 there, and me just ignoring it. So I have it this way so that I could acknowledge and appreciate your lurk. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, guys, um, look, I'm on I'm on bitch ass mode. I'm on whiny bitch mode right now. But this was a good as weird as it is for me to say, as wrong as it feels for me to say, this was a good stream. I had some good fucking runs today, and I hope to get more streams like this in the future. No matter how heartbreaking it is, no matter how much I want to rip my dick off by the end, I'm here for you guys, and thank you for being here for me, guys. I will catch you day after tomorrow, offline tomorrow. Check my YouTube for a video. Let's raid Beck, spam some emotes, and I will see you guys then. I love you all very much. Peace. Mwah.